So Play Night is an incredible game library app from all of our different game launchers in one convenient place. And in particular, this PS5 theme is absolutely gorgeous. Here are the 10 easy steps to get this set up to make our ally and indeed any Windows based handheld like the Legion Go feel like a proper console experience. Plus, as a bonus tip, I'll even share how to configure Yuzu and add Switch games to our Play Night library too. So let's dive straight in and for step one, make sure that all of your game launchers you'd like to use like Steam, EA Sports, Ubisoft, Epic Games, etc. are all installed before we install Play Night. Next for step two, let's download Play Night by heading to playnights.link. Link is in the description and simply pressing the download button. For step three, let's install Play Night by finding the file we just downloaded, which in my case is the downloads folder, and clicking on the file to open the installer. So let's where you'd like to install Play Night, which I'm just gonna select the C drive, and it's important that we check this portable checkbox right here so that all files will be installed in just one folder. For step four, let's configure our game libraries by first selecting which game launcher libraries you want to import into Play Night. I'm going to select all of them and you can add more later on too. This next screen allows us to connect and authenticate each game launch account. So you can connect if you like or just import only your installed games. It's completely up to you. It does take a few minutes after we click finish for Playnight to locate all of our games and for our artwork to automatically appear here in the app's desktop mode. So while we're waiting, I think now is a perfect time for a pancake intermission. Step 5, let's now add Xbox Game Pass to Play Night by clicking on the controller icon on the top left and click Add-ons. Click Browse, then click Generic, scroll down to Game Pass Catalog Browser, simply install it, press Save, then Play Night will restart. Now a new Xbox logo on the left will appear, click on it and the whole entire Xbox Game Pass library will now be available for us to view. So to add a Game Pass game, simply select a game, then press add to Play Night library. For step six, we can add any games or apps we own manually by clicking the control icon, click add game, then select automatically. Now press the scan folder, then simply browse to the location of the game or app you'd like to add manually, which in my case is Program Files to add the awesome Emulation Station app. Select the correct.exe file, click Add Game, and it will then appear in our Play Night library. For step 7, we can change info or game artwork by selecting the game, then select Edit, then download Metadata, select IGDB, Select the correct game or app, so in this case, Super Mario Bros. U. Press select for it to download, click save, and we now have our brand new info and artwork. For step eight, let's now install the PS5 UI theme by clicking on the controller icon, click add-ons, then browse, then themes full screen. And here are incredible themes from the awesome Play Night community that can make our ally look like a Steam Deck, Switch, Xbox and many more. But we will select the PS5-ish theme, then click install and then save. Once Play Night has restarted, press the controller icon, then full screen mode, go to settings, then visuals, then in theme select the PS5-ish theme. When you exit it, it'll ask you to restart Play Night, so hit yes, and here it is. Now I didn't realize one important thing we need to check out, so let's head back into the COG settings icon, tick the show background images on main screen. You may want to tick the show game titles too, and yes, we now have the full PS5 theme experience right here on our ROG Ally. And by the way, if you've learned something from this vid so far, then be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're new, as it gives the channel a huge boost and also you don't miss out on any of these great ally tutorials you guys are awesome for step nine let's now add play night full screen mode to armory crate by opening armory crate up then click add then press lb or rb go to where you install play night which in my case is the default location of users app data local then play night folder then select play night dot full screen app file Although for some reason Armory Crate for me currently glitches out and won't allow me to add new games to Armory Crate. So hopefully you'll have better luck than me. Thanks, um, Asus. Eight weeks later. 
Okay, so I've just got back from finishing this latest video of the 1.4.11 Armor Crate update where Aces have just fixed this bug. Hooray! So let's now try adding again. And yes, the Playing Out full screen app is now available within Army Crate. Wow, that was good timing, wasn't it? And for that final step 10, let's enable our new PS5 themed Playing Out to start up automatically when we turn in our ally for a complete console experience. So first let's head into Armory Crate, then Content, then System, then About, and where it says Launch Armory Crate Automatically at System Startup, let's turn this to Off. Now let's head into Play Night, into Settings, then switch to Desktop Mode, click on the controller icon, then Settings, then the After Game Closes option to restore window, tick the Minimize Play Night to System Tray, Tick launch in full screen mode. Tick the launch play night when you start your computer option, then click save. Let's double check this works by restarting the ally and it does take about 30 seconds once loaded up, but yes, it does automatically now go into our fantastic PS5 theme UI without any prompts. Okay, so for that extra tip in adding UC games to our play night library, first press the controller icon in windows mode, then library, then configure emulators, then import, then scan folder, locate where you installed Yuzu, which for me is in my user profile app data, then local, then click save. Now let's add our Yuzu ROMs by pressing the controller icon, add game, then emulated games, then add scanner, scan with emulator option, select Yuzu, press the scan folder icon and locate your Yuzu ROMs, Oops, I forgot to add the profile, so we'll press default, click import, and they now appear in our Play Night library. I'd love to hear what you think about this incredible Play Night game library app and the PS5 theme, and also let us know any tips or settings that you prefer in the comments. And that's a thank you for watching right to the end of the video. I'd love to share this awesome quote. There's great courage in letting go of a past that no longer fits your future. So many of us are weighed down by our childhood trauma and negative experiences, but be full of courage and let go because they have no place in our incredible future before us. So stay encouraged today, guys. And check this video out if you want to know the top seven features in my RG Ally 2 wishlist. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.